Hello everyone, so in today's video we're going to be using Gydra to disassemble and binary patch a small uh, C++ program. So we're going to be editing um, a string that it prints out to, you know, a different string and then we're going to recompile it and then show how it um, how it actually changes the string. So first thing you're going to need to do is you need to download Gydra. Um, Gydra is a free open source reverse engineering suite developed by the National Security Administration and it's a pretty solid alternative to commercial solutions such as Hexray's IDA which has kind of been like the gold standard in the reverse engineering community so this is a pretty solid alternative to that um, your only requirement is to have JDK 11 or newer and just make sure you have that set up in the path if you run Windows which I've already done so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the program in question. So it's just going to be a small hello world in C++, just std out with the hello world string. So we're going to go ahead and build it. And now we have an executable. So now when we run it, it's just going to print out hello world. So we're going to go ahead and up, open up Gydra. And we're going to go ahead and create a new project. We're going to call it Hello World Analysis. So let's create a new folder. Project directory finish. All right. Then we're gonna open up the uh, editor from the tool chest. From here, we're gonna go ahead and import our exe. Hello world. Okay. So instead of pe, we're gonna import it as a raw binary. Um, we compiled this with GCC for x86 little ending so that should be good we're gonna hit okay so we're gonna also run analysis on it analyze should be done can get type info that's okay so now we can view all our functions so we're trying to edit that hello world string. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find it. So we're going to go to search. We're going to do a search in memory. Um, set that to string. Hello world. Ah, uh -huh. so now we found the um, we found the data value in the hex along with the mnemonic and the operand for it. This is in the rdata label. So what happens is this data gets loaded in and then the hello world string is stored here. So since we're just gonna go ahead and edit the string itself, we can just change its value in hex. So to do that, we're gonna open up the display bytes menu and you have it selected here. We're gonna toggle, toggle the ability to edit. So now we need to basically convert the string we want into hex. So we can just do a string to hex conversion and let's change it to hello Kedra. So for formatting sake, let's separate these hex values. All right, so the beginning of it will be the same because hello is still there. So it's 40, 65, 6C, 6C, 6f, 20, and then where it changes is after after the fact from 20. So the 57 will become a 47, 6f. I'm just going to move this over to my other screen, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to read it. So 47, that becomes, that 6f becomes a 68. 72 stays the same. This is 68 from 61. And 
six that becomes a twenty one. So let me make sure I messed that up. So six F six C twenty forty seven sixty eight. Ah, sorry, this should be sixty nine. That becomes sixty four. 72, 61, 21. Alright, so now that we've edited the strings value in hex, all we need to do now is pretty much export this back as a binary, so we control S to save the project. Then we're going to go ahead and export the program. So let's put it on the desktop. Actually, now we should change the type first. We're going to change it to binary. Then we're going to change it to hello world patch. You can actually just save it as a bin. Select output file. Hit OK. So now it would have exported it. And if I go back to the desktop, we have this hello world patch.bin. So now when we run it, we should see it print out Hello Ghidra. Ah, there we go. And as you can see, we have Hello Ghidra printing out. So that's just a really basic and quick overview on how to binary patch with Ghidra. This was like a pretty simple case because we just had a single string that we needed to modify and we knew the name of the string. You know, in most reverse engineering solutions you're going to have to spend more time looking for what you're trying to actually change. But in this case it was a simple string modification. Hedra also has the capability to um, patch out instructions themselves. So if you want to replace um, a mnemonic in the operand for a specific instruction you can actually change that too. Uh, but in this case, we just need to change uh, the data because it was just in the R data section. So um, that's it. And this will be probably one of a couple of videos I'm going to try to make on uh, some basic reverse engineering efforts. Uh, the most I've kind of done so far was just unpacking um, DLLs from Xamarin compiled APKs and IPAs. So this is going to be a little bit more in depth on actually reverse engineering it. So I have to play around with those and see what I can do. But for now, this is a quick little overview on how to get started with it. So uh, that's all for this video.